Parallel universe. Monkey is watching space through a telescope. Monkey saw himself in space. Monkey was surprised. Is that me or another monkey? Monkey, what you see is you from a parallel universe. Monkey was even more surprised. How? Where is this parallel universe? If that's me, then who am I? This is where things get complicated, Monkey. When scientists talk about parallel universes, they mean that there may be other universes besides ours. These universes may be very similar to our, or they may be completely different. In some, Monkey might still love bananas. In others, bananas might not exist at all. In fact, in some, bananas might eat you, Monkey. Monkey trembles. All right, tell me, everything. Quantum physics tells us that all possibilities exist simultaneously until an event happens. When you make a decision, other universes can form in which other possibilities are realized. Monkey understood. Right now, I'm both eating my banana and not eating my banana in another universe. Yes, Monkey. According to the quantum many worlds theory, each possibility is realized in its own universe. In one universe, you leave a banana for comments immediately, in another, a few minutes later, in another, never. Monkey suddenly got excited. So, there are infinite monkeys. There are infinite bananas. Exactly, monkey. And every monkey is true in its own universe. Mm -hmm. Every monkey is completely real. But parallel universes are not just quantum. Now I'm going to take you into a theory that's much bigger than the quantum, a theory that spans the entire cosmos. The simulation hypothesis is one of the theories I find most interesting. Humans created the first computer simulation about 75 years ago. At that time, computers and games looked like this. You know where we are now, and we have been here for millions of years. Think about millions of years from now. Think about what we could simulate, monkey thinks. We could simulate a universe filled with monkeys who are fully conscious. And if we can do that, the likelihood that other monkeys did this long before us, creating us, is very high. Maybe those who created us weren't in the real universe either. They were in a simulation too. And we, who are in a simulation, will create other simulations. It's incredibly interesting and unsettling. So mm -hmm. monkey, do you think we're real? Or are we simulated? Monkey is sad. Are my bananas not real? It's possible, monkey. Of course, this is still just a theory, but there is strong scientific evidence to support it. The randomness logic of quantum mechanics is quite similar to the logic of random numbers generated by a computer. The incredible mathematical harmony of the laws of physics in the universe gives the impression of a computer code. When all this evidence is combined, monkey, you and the banana may just be codes. Monkey was surprised. Monkey added to his notes. The laws of physics resemble codes. Quantum mechanics resembles random numbers generated by a computer. Simulation technology is developing rapidly. My banana may not be real. Next up is that amazing theory that says even the laws of physics have changed Monkey. The bubble universe theory. Monkey got excited. I'm ready, tell me. Immediately after the Big Bang, the universe suddenly inflated like a dough. We call this cosmic inflation. In a fraction of a second, the universe grew trillions of times bigger. But mm. this inflation didn't stop everywhere at the same speed. That's because the energy field driving the inflation behaves slightly differently at each point due to quantum fluctuations. In some regions, the energy dropped early and the inflation ended, creating new universes. In others, the energy remained high and the inflation continued. This randomness gave rise to the idea of multiple bubble universes. Mm. According to this theory, there are an infinite number of universes. In each bubble of universe, the laws of physics may be different. In one, gravity is a little stronger. Bananas are crushed as they fall to the ground. In another, it is weaker. Bananas swing through the air. Some don't even have a planet. Others have very different planets, very different civilizations, very different monkeys, very different bananas. Differences we can't even imagine. How would you like to live in a different universe? Full of bananas. We know yours, monkey. I asked the audience monkeys. Monkey asked, what if the bubbles collide? If two bubbles universes touch each other, they could leave circular marks on the map of our universe. That's one reason for studies looking for hard to explain circular patterns in the sky. Also, monkey said, 
Depending on the strength of the collision, the laws of physics could change, so our universe could disappear. Monkey added in his notes, bubble universe equals inflation ends at different times in different universes, different laws of physics, some universes have bananas and some don't. Number of universes equals infinity. Universes collided equals laws of physics changed, universe destroyed. Monkey wants to hear about the new parallel universe. Monkey is impatient. Monkey will learn about hologram theory. Think of a CD or DVD monkey. We can use laser light to create three-dimensional images from mm -hmm. tiny scratches engraved on its surface. There's a similar idea for the universe. The real information could be encoded on the surface of the real universe. Our three-dimensional experience is a reflection of this information, and it's quite possible that there are other holographic universes encoded on the surface. Monkey is very surprised. The holographic universe excites Monkey. Tell me, tell me. In this theory, no information is lost, Monkey. Your laughter, the bananas you eat, the banana peels you drop. All of this information is engraved on the surface of the universe. Monkey is trying to understand how? Remember the black holes that pull in every banana around you, monkey? No information about anything that enters is lost. It is stored at the event horizon. Scientists are inspired by this and argue that the universe works this way. So do you think it's possible that we are nothing but a hologram? Moreover, this is not just a philosophical idea. Small irregularities have been observed in the cosmic microwave background radiation. Physicists present this as evidence of a holographic structure. In other words, the traces we see in the sky may be evidence that the universe is encoded on a surface. Monkey was impressed. Monkey took notes. Our universe equals three-dimensional hologram. Hologram equals encoded onto the real universe. Information never disappears. Irregularities in the CMB equals evidence for the hologram. Monkey really liked the idea of parallel universes. Monkey will learn about a theory that suggests the possibility of passing to other universes. Like the string theory. String theory and its variants whisper to us. Our universe may be a three-dimensional brain floating in a higher dimensional space. There are other brains around us with different laws of physics. Theoretically, they are there. But according to the physics of our universe, we cannot see them. We cannot reach them. Monkey got sad. No waving to other monkeys? No monkey, sorry. But when the brains get close or collide, huge energy events can be triggered. Such a collision can create a new Big Bang, a bridge as slippery as banana peel. And the monkeys, whoops, they cross over into another universe. Yes, monkey, if the membranes get close enough to each other or come into contact, matter can be transferred between universes. There are even explanations that gravity leaks into other universes despite the distance between universes. Of course, for now, this is just the sound of math. Monkey noted, brain equals 3D universe. Position of the universe equals much higher dimensional space. Collision equals big energy. Big energy equals new beginning and the possibility of banana transfer between universes. And lastly, Professor Monkey equals subscribe.